Uh, oh, the van build. It started out so exciting and we had high hopes and very quickly things started going wrong. And the weather outside this morning is crazy. It's always a risk coming to Michigan in the month of April, but I never thought it was going to be like this. So I thought I'd just take a few minutes to catch you up on where we've been from when we purchased the vehicle until now. So we actually found the vehicle in Las Vegas. Um, it was being sold by a, a guy who owns a diesel engine repair facility and it was in amazing shape and they took really good care of it. I took it into the Mercedes store in Las Vegas and um, they told me buy this thing. It's in beautiful shape. So I left feeling very confident in the purchase. Um, so it's a 2011 170 inch wheelbase passenger van. It's a 2500 two wheel drive and so I got the insulation done, a spray foam insulation in Los Angeles um, which was really difficult to find somebody to do spray foam insulation um, because it's just not needed in Southern California. After getting the spray foam insulation done I brought the vehicle back home and had it parked at Marisa's studio and we got some rain which doesn't happen that often in Southern California but thank goodness it rained because the next day I took the van out and drove it on the road and water just started pouring in through the roof and I didn't know what was going on. Come to find out it was coming in through the factory installed rooftop AC unit which comes in all passenger vans to keep the passengers in the back cool on warm days and lo and behold I did some Google searching and found out that there had been a class action lawsuit because these AC units Ooh. So I called around and found out that really the only person that can do this repair is a Mercedes dealership. So I brought it to Mercedes of Thousand Oaks. Great people. They really did a good job, but it was a huge repair and I had to end up paying like $1,800 for this repair even after the dealership helped me out and after Mercedes chipped in a little bit. Um, but still, I had just bought this vehicle and now it's $1,800 out of my pocket to repair a leaking AC unit that is a known issue. So it was super frustrating that I couldn't get more assistance with that repair, but I had to pay for it. I had to get it done. So. Um, that was issue number one and then uh, about a week later I was traveling around LA picking up. This is the way it's been. It's like this is the story. Everything's a race to the finish and just when we have plans, Mother Nature decides to throw a curveball, something decides to throw a curveball. It's nuts! Of course today we decided to shop for fabric. <laughs> And I noticed that there was some condensation, some leaking um, coming in through the AC unit. Very little, but enough that, you know, I need to go get this addressed. So it was not only water, but it was also some sort of oil. I thought maybe Freon or, or something. I wasn't sure exactly what it was coming through. So after traveling around town all day, I'm making my way back to Mercedes of Thousand Oaks. And I'm about five miles away and I'm going up a pretty steep incline and all of a sudden I start losing power in the engine and I can't get up this hill and so I'm basically coasting off this exit ramp which thankfully was there so I didn't get stranded on the side of the freeway. Um, I pulled into a little neighborhood, got out, didn't smell anything unusual in the engine compartment. There was no smoke. There was nothing out of the ordinary that I could see. And luckily I was only about five minutes from the dealership. So I got back on the freeway. Everything was fine on the surface streets. As soon as I got back on the freeway and I got up to speed about 60, 65 miles an hour, I couldn't go any faster. So there was definitely something wrong. Found out um, once I got there, after the technicians had a chance to look at it, that it was a booster hose that had split. Um, so there was uh, just a, a simple replacement of the booster hose, and then um, they they readjusted the the sealant for the AC unit um, to get that taken care of as well. So two two issues that weren't that big of a deal, but. I still had to go in and get them taken care of and I was freaking out that I, I didn't have enough power on the freeway. So um, a lot going on in a very short amount of time after purchasing this vehicle. Um, so it wasn't a good situation at all. I guess laying under the van is better than being on top of the van on a snowy 
windy, rainy, crazy day like this. It's still a little cold under here though. It's demo day in the freezing cold outside. We yes. locked ourselves inside. Yes, and it we're, is. Uh, we're taking the floor up. We're being careful to, to roll it up nicely and keep it so we can use that, that as a stencil when we put in the insulation and the subflooring. Hopefully we can get to that later today, but uh, we'll see. The elements are slowing us down a little bit. So, after a crazy day, waking up to about two to three inches of snow, crazy winds, sub-freezing temperatures, trying to work outside and figure out how we were gonna get this build done. We just got word from one of my dad's good buddies that he has a heated storage unit that can fit this monster of a van. There's plenty of space, there's heat, there's light, there's electricity, everything we need. He said we're more than welcome to go down there. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna pull this bad boy in, try to get some more work done today and uh, we can't wait. So we'll show you what it looks like when we get there.